What's up guys, Mr. Barry here, and today I am going to be bringing you, um, part 12, yes, I believe part 12 of Pokemon Leaf Green. Um, I know I haven't really done any videos lately, I'm sorry guys, things have been kinda crazy. Um, but I will be doing more videos, and I just, I got a few more ideas for some new Tibia videos. I'm actually gonna be doing, um... Probably doing the Yelio fact soon, and among other things, so we will see how that goes. And real quick, I just want to see who I have out. Um, yeah, I should probably level up my uh, Dragon Lord since I'm about to go against Blaine. Um, I have to surf all the way over there first and get the seventh badge. Uh, Blaine is in a fire type gym and is of course the leader of the fire type gym. So we're gonna go with Shockwave, as Tentacool is both poison and water. So he'll be two times weak. Ah, uh, well. And he does constrict, which does hardly anything. And while surfing across the water, there's gonna be uh, a bunch of trainers, and they're all going to be using water type Pokemon, so it's nice that I have my Dragon Lord with Shockwave and my Raichu or Shocker with uh, Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt is an amazing electric type move. Um, having 95 damage, 100% accuracy, and a chance to paralyze is just crazy. Well, that was pretty easy, as I assume this will be, because I think that they assume you're going to take these guys on during, uh, like, right before you go after Koga, or right before, right before or after, sorry. But, anyhow, how's everyone been? What's been going on? Like I said, I, I apologize once again for not keeping up with my videos as much, things have been hectic. But I'm looking forward to making more videos. If you guys have any areas you want to see in uh, my Life of Adrenus series, please let me know. Um, like I said, I've got a few areas I plan on doing, but you know, the more areas you guys have to suggest, um, maybe there's one I didn't think of. And that's the thing is, I think someone named Tyler recently suggested um, the Yeliothax area, and I've been really wanting to do that, but the thing about that area is you can only get there um, right around the beginning of server save because the Raging Mage is there, and uh, you have to kill a certain number of Yeliothax in order to get him uh, unenergized and to be able to kill him. And then once you kill him, it closes the dimension. But enough of that. We will get back to the Pokemon. So you can see I just ran through all those trainers using, um, just shock waving over and over. And soon, uh, probably before I go ahead and take on Giovanni, I'm gonna go capture all the, uh, the, the legendary bird trio, um, which is Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. And Articuno is actually located between Fuchsia City and uh, Cinnabar, which is right to the west of my current position. But, like I said, I'm not going to do that in this video. Right now, I am just heading to Cinnabar and taking out Blaine. Um, I also have to explore the the mansion there, which uh, houses dittos, among a few other things. Um, and it's supposedly where Mewtwo was created, or Mew. Uh, not Mew. Mew was not created, where Mewtwo was created off of Mew. And I believe Mew was there at some point, as Mewtwo is a clone of Mew. Oops. Well, that was an accident. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! I get a crit hit with Surf and <laughs> manage to kill a water Pokemon in one hit with it. Hey, that's fine by me. 
So, it's probably a good idea that I level up some other Pokemon as well, so... I don't know, I'll send out Blastoise for a bit, let him have some fun. And using Strength, obviously, going against the Water Pokemon, so... And these are such low levels in comparison to my Pokemon, so this is just going to be some free experience, pretty much. And I'm mostly going to um, just run through these battles. I So... Yeah, I, I really, really want to have a Dragonite before I face the Elite Four, and if that means uh, just grinding um, on the way there to get him up to 55, then I might do that, because he's going to be a very, very helpful Pokemon. No doubt about that. And definitely going to be catching the Legendary Bird Trio before the Elite Four because um, I, have a, I had a strategy on Fire Red with Zapdos. You teach Rain Dance to Zapdos and then you have him um, learn Thunder and it makes Thunder's accuracy go from 70% uh, to 100%, which is really nice. And this is just a little tentacle. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just throw a great ball at him, see if it catches him. If not, whatever. Because I'm not really going to be able to just pack him down. Um, anyhow. So, yeah, my it was with uh, Leilili, I think her name is. It's the Ice Trainer. And my strategy was to use Rain Dance and then Thunder, and he could bring down her entire team, except for Jinx, I think. I mean, he could bring down Jinx, but... And... Having Blastoise take out Goldeen, ooh, apparently not. And hoping the Shockwave will do pretty significant damage to Seeking. Wow, okay. And a uh, little theory attack, not really too concerned. Wow, they're both targeting uh, Dragonair or Dragon Lord. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer that I call them by their uh, their Pokemon names or the nicknames I've given them? So, either way, I don't really mind. I just always say, I try to say both that way. If someone doesn't know one of the nicknames of my Pokemon, they know who I'm referring to. And they're both pretty close to level 41 now. They were already decently close, so. And there's just a whole gaggle of trainers. So, right here, I'm basically just going to run through these guys. I'm going to be fast forwarding this part. And he's only got eight shockwaves left, so I'm gonna have to eventually bring Raichu out and uh, let him get do some damage. And the main reason I fast forward through parts like this is because I don't think this is really what you guys want to see. Just me decimating Pokemon who are like 13 levels lower than me. I think it's more interesting to see, you know, uh, trainers fighting higher level Pokemon and having to use, like, a good amount of skill to win. Oh, level 41. And he's got three more shockwaves, so he's gonna get a little 
bit more experience before he gets retired to the sidelines. Oh, these waters are treacherous, aren't they? Oh no. Wow, hung on with one HP, okay. He uses Bubble Beam, which being a dragon, he's strong to it. And that's why I love dragon types. I love uh, the huge amount of resistances they have. It's really nice. And we're gonna see if Dragon Rage will do about half his health, and it did, so I'll just use Dragon Rage twice. Which is, it's a pretty lame attack. Uh, I mean, it's nice that it always consistently hits, but... He'll get a decent amount of experience. It's nice when you're battling an evolved Pokemon, because even if they aren't that tough, you still get a pretty good amount of experience. Yeah, see, he got 1,185 for that, which is much nicer. So he's out of Shockwaves. So, um, and since I haven't really kept my Raichu uh, up to speed with everyone else, I'll bring her out and... Uh, let her have some fun. I'm sure she'll be one-shotting everything with Thunderbolt. There's no doubt in my mind. For those of you who don't know, there's something called Stab, which is same type attack bonus. So if you have a Pokemon who is using um, an attack, they get double, uh, or not double, sorry, one and a half times damage just because um, an electric Pokemon is using an electric type attack. And I forgot to switch out. That's alright though. We're just gonna run through this. And Star Use coming out. So, we'll let. Shocker gets more experience, definitely needs to catch up. Not the best Pokemon, but has a pretty decent move set and uh, certainly helpful. With uh, Thunder Wave, he's, she's able to paralyze, which is really helpful when trying to catch Pokemon, and should be able to help me bring the bird's uh, health down pretty quickly. And I know I didn't switch out again, but that's alright, because Dragon Lord's got a couple more Dragon Rages, so... We'll just keep that up. I couldn't believe when I accidentally hit Swit, uh, Surf, and one hit KO'd that water Pokemon. That was pretty cool. Got a crit hit. And bringing out Seeking, um... Only got two of these left, so if need be, we'll use an Ice Beam or a Surf to finish them off. Ooh, you supersonic. Uh, hopefully Surf doesn't... I don't hit myself in confusion. Didn't. Awesome. And since Seeking is an evolved Pokemon, we'll get pretty good experience. And... I'm gonna go ahead and... Sideline him. And Mr. Mime and uh, Raichu are gonna be my main choices for the rest of the way. Level 31 Shelter, which is going to be real easy with Thunderbolt. And Shocker's a little bit of a lower level, so he's more around the Pokemon he's fighting, and we'll, she, and we'll be getting some, uh, nice, up to 100 speed. And sending out a Cloyster. Um, might not one-hit him, but hopefully will. Nope, of course he uses Protect, which makes it so my attack will not hit, and allows him to go first. Um, Luckily, Protect, I think, only has 5 PP, and if you use it continually, it has a much higher chance of failing. And, one shot at him anyway, so, worked out.
Why are you riding a Pokemon? Uh... Cause I fucking have to, they don't let me swim. And, obviously, same strategy, it's all gonna be water types. And uh, Blaine's Pokemon have to be towards, his, at least his Arcanine has to be like towards level 50 because Sabrina's Alakazam was level 43 and he was pretty tough. Uh, and it just makes sense that the next gym leader's Pokemon would be at least like, you know, five levels higher. At least his strongest, stronger than her strongest, you know. And I'm thinking about giving my, uh, my Wrath, my Blastoise, uh, a chance out here to get a little more experience because, uh, I'm not really going to be using Raichu in the next gym battle, at least probably not much. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pull him out front. And you can see the vast amount of, um, moves he has, which is interesting, and I'm not even going to bother with him. And I think we're not too terribly far away. The, uh, she just said we're near Seafoam, which is um, where Articuno is located. Ooh, Seedra has Poison Point. I didn't even realize that. So now, of course, Blastoise is poison, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But, I'm up to level 41. Two on each stat except for speed. Not bad. And bringing out Horsey. I'm going to throw out Raichu because uh, Shocker was really, really close to his level. Yeah, he'll definitely get it on this one. And I want to use an Antidote on Wrath as I don't want him to faint on the way. I plan on actually um, making some use of him. So I will have my cute little Raichu finish off this battle. Now that he's caught up with the team a little bit, level 38 isn't too bad. Usually I, I don't have a team like this. Like usually I don't have like a, a five Pokemon team. I usually train like two to three and then just make them beefy as hell. But uh tried to do something different this time, and I like to have, like I said, I'd rather have lower level Pokemon as I think it's more entertaining for you guys. And it looks like I don't have an antidote, but maybe I've got berries. Yep, I do. And we'll use that. And onward we go. And this is actually the Seafoam Islands. They say Misty Trains here. Yep, and inside of here is the uh, awesome Articuno. I'm not going to bother bo uh, battling her yet. I'll probably go do that when I go to catch Articuno. Wait a moment here. Just give me a second. And we're gonna use the town map and see where we are. And there's the Seafoam Islands and there's the Pokemon Mansion. So we need to head west still. And I don't think you need to cross through the Seafoam Islands to get to... No, you don't. Um, because I can see that right there. So I'm going to follow the... Uh... Ooh, a level 40 tentacle. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll catch him. Wow, strength just did a shitload still. 
And since I haven't taken the time to buy some Ultra Ball, I'm gonna have to be using Great Ball, but hey, it worked, so that's fine by me. And I'm not gonna give him a name, I don't plan on using him, so give me one moment. And actually, kinda stupid that I just did all this, but uh, whatever. I was gonna go this way, but I just thought about it and I think I'd rather just go the Pallet Town way. And get Mom to heal me up. Oh, thank you, Mom. You're so kind. And then, of course, uh, head south and be right next to uh, Cinnabar. Um, I think there's Tangela is here, maybe. Yep. So, I'm gonna go ahead and catch him. Um, hopefully Surf doesn't hit kill him in one hit. It might though, and of course it did. Um, I'm gonna see what other Pokemon are here though. I think it... Wow, lots of Tangelas. Um, I'll take out my weakest Pokemon in hopes that he'll be able to get him down to low health. And this is just, um, I don't us use this Pokemon, but he's nice for, uh, flying around, you know. That's really the only reason I have him. So I'm gonna peck him one more time. Hopefully don't crit, and I don't, so we will go ahead and, I don't really care, poison him all you want, man. And use the Great Ball. Catch this viney creature. And Tangela's real claim to fame is that Erica has a decently strong one. Okay, nice. Wow, this thing does not want to be caught. And only two great balls left. Wow. This is some shit. And bring out the dragon, just so that I could have I could use Raichu to just paralyze this bastard in hopes to catch him a little easier. Which I'm actually probably gonna do right now. Because this is just ridiculous. Oh no, he's just spamming poison powder, poisoning my whole team. Okay, now since we got six Pokeballs left, his, uh, should be a little easier to catch. Although he's gonna heal by using Absorb like a prick. No Master Ball for Tangela. Wow, the Pokemon broke free. That's, uh, a little discouraging. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Tangela is just trolling. What? This is so absurd. Just like, no, you may not catch me. How is a level 23 Tangela so hard to catch? Oh my god, I've got one more Pokeball left. This is it. Wow. Fuck this shit, man. And of course, Raichu's gonna faint. Alright, no. I'm getting out of here. Fuck that. That is so retarded. I don't even understand the logic there. And I gotta see which of my Pokemon are poised. Okay. So, I'm gonna take out these guys real quickly. Um, he's got Magikarp, so this is gonna be entertaining, I'm sure. And of course, this is gonna- this is so useless, like, they're gonna give such a low amount of experience. I actually wish I just hadn't initiated this. Just running through some magic cards. What the fuck, man? 
I don't even understand. Like, the only way this would be alright was if I had a really, really low level Pokemon that was really decent that I wanted to train, and he could actually get, you know, a good amount of experience by destroying some Magikarp. No, Magikarp or shit. It's one of the shittiest Pokemon. The only thing that's good about him is that he evolves into Gyarados. Let's see what this dude's doing. Oh, at least he's got some decent Pokemon that'll give experience, you know. Use Bite again. Made him flinch. Use Surf to finish him off. And Strength takes him out with one hit, that's handy. We'll see how Strength does against Seeking. Nice, almost one. And we'll bite. Another Seeking. I'm gonna go with Bite first in hopes to make him flinch. No luck, and of course he confuses Blastoise. Hopefully Blastoise doesn't hurt itself, and he does. Uses Water Sport, which is kind of pointless. I'm not using a Fire Pokemon, but the NPCs in this are so goddamn dumb sometimes. Like, nice. And he's trying to learn Rain Dance. Um, I'm kind of considering that because that's nice. Powers up Water moves and lowers. Uh, and I could get rid of Dig, but. I don't know. I'll get rid of Rain Dance because I already plan on having a Pokemon in the future that learns it, and if I really want to be able to use it to my advantage, I can do that. And I'm going to switch him into battle against these two. Sis and Bro. Starmie and uh, Citra. Not bad at all. And it looks like these ones are a little stronger. I'm going to use Surf to soften them up, and then hopefully his Shockwave will take uh, each of them down. He should be able to bring Seedra down now, and he does successfully. And of course, Starmie heals. Uh, that's one of the best things about Starmie, is that it learns recovery, while Star U does at a very low level. So using Strength and Shockwave in combination should take out Starmie. Although I think Starmie has a pretty good special defense. But it worked. And Dragonair reaches level 42, so that'll be helpful. And not really worrying about battling those guys. I'm going to go back and do it. I just want to go and battle uh, the gym already. You know, just get through it. And using Bite on Starmie, as it is super effective. I didn't even think about that last time, but uh, that was <laughs> that's just that was really stupid of me, actually. Kind of grinding up. You know, like I said, I got to get Blastoise and Dragon Lord up the most to make this gym a little easier. And Strength, as he's a pure water type, and he uses Double Slap, and what's nice about Blastoise is Blastoise has a um, phenomenal defense. And he levels pretty quickly for uh, a third evolution. And using Strength, hoping I don't get Poison Point, and uh, see Blastoise get poisoned, that wouldn't be too fun. And, luckily, brought him down, and already, Blastoise reaches level 43. Those defense stats are looking nice. And, I think, um, let me know if you guys actually like seeing me do these, like, the random battles, because, um, if you guys don't really care for it, I... I will just, you know, um, do those off camera and then, you know, keep the camera to like gym battles, the Elite Four, you know, stuff like that. Um, or catching legendaries, like more interesting stuff. <clears throat> um, I'm actually going to save my uh, 
I'm actually going to save my Master Ball, and I'm not going to use it on Mewtwo, nor am I going to use it on the three legendary birds. If any of you know what Pokemon I'm going to save it for, let me know. Uh, I'd be surprised if you could guess which Pokemon it should really be used on in Fire Red or Leaf Green. And seeing as how, you know, that fucking piece of shit just ran me out of balls completely, um, gotta grab some, and I gotta grab some supplies, I'm gonna grab a couple Hyper Potions, and I already got four revives. Does he have any antidotes? No, just full heals, which, you know what? They work just fine. And I don't mind spending a lot of this money. Uh, once you get, once you can kill the Elite Four over and over, you're able to make money very, very easily. So, with this uh, team, we're gonna go take on Cinnabar. Oh, the door is locked. Aww. Hmm, I forget what you have to do to get Blaine back first.